following knife review is a knife loaned to me from my friends at whitemountainknives.com. When you're in the market for a good knife, make sure you check out whitemountainknives.com. They have excellent customer service, excellent prices, and very quick shipping. That's whitemountainknives.com. Hey YouTube, Joe here with another uh, unboxing and first impressions. And today I'm bringing you the Kershaw Intellect Model 1810. It's uh, brand new from the 2016 line of Kershaw knives. Um, very psyched, just got it, just got home from work and I saw the box sitting for me. Got it from my buddy um, White Mountain Knives. Uh, check him out. Don't be shy away though if you go on a site and you looked up Intellect and you're not seeing it on the site. I know he has them, maybe he just hasn't had a chance to put them up on the, on the website yet. So definitely contact him if you're interested in this. Um, tell him Joe from Weaves to 64 sent you. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to get you any extra deal, but at least he, he knows that I'm um, sending business his way. So make sure you go over there and check it out. Uh, before we even get to the unboxing, um, I don't know if you guys noticed this handkerchief uh, from uh, the last video I did. It's from a cool guy that I, I um, got it from. Um, Ozen is his name, I believe. I mean, the company name. So I'm on. Uh, uh, Instagram, and he had this really nice one. Now, don't ask me why, but I call this this look of color. I call it Aztec. I don't know why. This has like that 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 uh, Aztec look to it, and uh, I just love this. And I saw it, I was like, wow, I got to get that. So uh, he, I, I didn't mention it in my last video, and he thanked me and everything for it, and, and I didn't really even mention it. So I want to mention it in this video. So I'm going to have um, the link to hit the Instagram uh, to check it out. You sell. He has all different kinds of of. Um, quality uh, handkerchiefs. Did I say napkins the first time around? I meant to say handkerchiefs. Uh, handkerchiefs, I think it's like his it, the thing is oozing hanks or something, but don't worry about it. You're going to have all the information in the description. So just check the description. If you're interested in buying a nice quality handkerchief, I'll put the Instagram uh, in there and I'll put the I'll go to his Instagram and find the website and you can check it out. Tell him also Joe from Ways to 64 sent you. Okay? So let's put that back down. We got all the public service announcement out of the way. So there it is. There's the box. Also, as usual, any knives or anything you see in this video, you, I'm always going to have the link, if, if, especially if I did anything with it. Like, for instance, I'm opening up the box. This is the, I know I always pronounce this wrong, Sirogorov uh, clone, uh, the F3 clone mini. Love this knife. I use this a lot. It's my CDC. I hate to say, you know, whatever. You know, I always say CDC instead of EDC. But anyway, let's get this bad boy opened up. Let's talk about it. Hot off the presses. Let's see, anything else in here besides that? No, no surprises. Alright, so we're in the box. Now, originally I was going to uh, just review this and send it back, but I think I'm going to keep this one. I, I saw the pictures of it, I like it and everything. Before we get to that one guy, my last guy. Uh, person who saw my video was complaining I spent too much time in the box on, on checking out the box and the box it was a whole grand total of 15 seconds so try to won't we'll, we'll make the box too long but it's your standard is intellect your standard Kershaw box so let's open it up gotta make the fans happy right so, let's get this bad boy I just had it open and then I closed it so like I said I wasn't gonna I was just gonna you know do it up and, but I'll probably keep this so we're going to do the whole bit. We're going to do the cut test and everything. Now, this knife can be had all day long. I, um, most sites, I think even, uh, I don't know what uh, my buddy at White Mountain Knives is selling it for, but uh, cause I haven't paid him yet, to tell you the truth, but um, most sites it's about 30 bucks, so it's probably he's probably selling around the same thing. Nothing uh, nothing extra in there except your standard, you know, little whatever the heck it is. I don't want to waste time, you know, the, the, the usual books and stuff. So let's put that away. So let's check this bad boy out. It's got some factory oil on it too. So let's put this here for now. While I read off some stats. Don't want it to be focusing on the handkerchief. Let's see if we can get a little bit more light in here. I don't know, that's maximum. Oh, you know what? Let's do it like this. So like I said, Kershaw Intellect, model 1810. Uh, the blade is 3 inches long. The overall length is 6.75 inches. The blade steel is a 
HCR 13 MOV. I seem to be on a roll with getting that blade steel. I remember the last couple of times mentioning that that, that was the blade steel. Uh, drop point blade, hollow grind, nice beautiful satin, and you know me, I love satin. Look at that, that's nice. Um, the handle is just listed as stainless steel, that's it. No mention of you know what kind of stain, what kind of steel, just stainless steel. And I looked up a couple of sites, and that's all they said. So that's what I'm saying: stainless steel, uh, spring assisted, you know, classic Kershaw Speed Safe spring assisted uh, uh, knife. Uh, it's a frame lock. It's made in China. It's a it's a nice nice weight, 4.28 ounces. Uh, the clip is uh, let's see, is it left and right? Yep, yeah, left and right carry. Tip up only. So let's go over, look, look over the knife. We'll measure it up to. I can tell you, I'm I'm liking this already. It just I'm always saying in my videos, you, you don't know, you know Kershaw, 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 dude. This is another another nice one from them. Look at that. Nice see through. I can feel the factory roll, but you know I like that. So before we start really diving into it, let's measure it up. Let's I missed again, I missed the dollar in my last video. I don't know what's going on with me, dude. So there it is against the dollar. Alright, let's get rid of the dollar. Let's bust out the ruler. Put it there. There it is against the ruler and some knives you know. Let's, let's do Kershaw for Kershaw for the first one. The launch, as you can see, launch one. It's much bigger than the launch. I mean, uh, the launch one's much bigger. Let's put. Sometimes you need to see both ways because depending on the way the camera is angled. One knife could look maybe bigger than the other. Yeah, it's still tower. The launch still towers over it. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Let's do a clone. The Riate Horizon Horizon D clone. Just trying to see if we can get this in a little bit more. As you can see, that towers over it. It's not a big knife. You know, I should measure something. You know what? We're going to measure another Kershaw that's a small knife. Here we go. You've seen me do this one. This is that limited, that special limited edition to what the heck is the name of it? Cabela's only the median, the Kershaw median, kind of like a step cousin to the um, the Cryo two. Now, now we're getting more closer to size. Okay. I think that. Oh, you know what? What the heck? Since one more Kershaw. What the heck? Ugh. Let's put it against Kershaw Thermite. Here it is against the Thermite. It's Kershaw Knight. Uh, let's get a paper test going. A uh, cut test going. Oof! This is too thick. You know what? This is the cover. Though. I don't want. To Hold on a second, people. Live TV here. A live video. So, the all important cut test. Let's fade out a little bit. Here we go. You know, I'm not doing it good with this paper. It's nothing against the knife. It's me. It's Joe. Let's get something else. Oh. Yeah, let's try just another piece. If you know me from my videos, you know I am not good with cut tests. And then off camera, this thing, the thing will be cutting like a dream. But. You're not. You don't see it off camera. You don't see it on camera. So we got to get it right. All 
there we go. See? Much better. Yeah. Alright, it's I'm do I'm getting there. You know, it's not uh I won't say it's A plus like like I usually expect from Kershaw, but it's it's a B. Probably just could use a little touch up. Let's take a look at it some more. Very, very nice looking. Let's see, the lockup is let's see maybe a little bit more than 50%. Let's cover cover the background so you see that. Let's see. Centering. Centering is pretty much there. in the hands. I'll say this, um, for those of you with bigger hands, uh, I mean, you might have a little bit of a problem with this knife. It, it's not, it, as you could, as you saw with the knives that I compared it against, it, it is a small knife. You know, when you hear three inch, uh, when you hear three inch blade, you're like, wow, three inch blade. But overall, as you can see, look, you can see that I have, you know, it's not sticking past my hand, and there, you know, my my pinky's not even holding it. So, it's not a big blade. I mean, it's not a big knife overall. The flipping. Oh, let's before we get to flipping action. No blade play. Flipping action is good. I'll say this. I mean, I have so many Kershaws. I have probably more Kershaws. Than any other brand, and you know, I have a lot of the spring assisted knives. And as spring assisted knives goes, this is not, I won't say this is the best I've, I've ever uh, flipped. I mean, if you flip this and then you flip a, a Kershaw knockout, it's a totally different, totally different feel. But you got to keep in mind, Kershaw knockout is a, you know, depending on what kind you're getting, could be anywhere from a 70 to $100 knife. This is a $30 knife. But I'm not saying anything bad about it either. The flipping action is, is good. It's decent. Non aggressive jimping up top. Has a nice feel in the hands. Even though I just said, you know, a little negative about it being small, it still has a nice feel in the hands. As I said earlier, it could have been maybe just a touch more sharp out of the box. I'm so you know what it is? I'm spoiled. Every time I get a curse or a knife, it's usually Blazing like A plus out of the box, and this might not have been A plus, but it's 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 a B, you know. And, and I've uh, sharpened HCR thirteen MOV many times, and it comes up nice. And contrary to it, if the fat man's watching, watching, he was getting on my case that I don't sharpen knives. I sharpen knives, brother, but it's just that I get nervous when they're over a hundred dollars. I got two different kinds of sharpeners. I got the this the Spyderco sharpener, the with the triangle, and the uh, the work sharp. Though, as uh, my buddy at SSR Knives and Guns, he uh, experienced the same thing I did with the work sharp. Uh, sometimes, if you're not do, doing it absolutely carefully, uh, you wind up scratching the blade. So you got to be careful. So overall, what I like and what I don't like, there's not too much I don't like. I mean, again, it could be me, but just a tad sharper. Could be just me. Again, I blame myself because I'm not the greatest with cut tests on video. I'm too busy. And I was just staring through the screen, making sure everything's just perfect, and then everything turns out not to be perfect. Um, it's a little small, but I like it. I like small, stout knives, but that's, uh, that's nothing against me. Um, I'll say this, this I'm, and it, I'm not totally, totally in love with this clip. Uh, I would have would have liked a different clip. Let's see, like maybe, let's see what this one is. No, not that one either. Um... No, it's just like like the I don't, I don't have it handy. The clip that's like on the uh, geez, now I can't think of it. They're, they're, let's just say this: Kershaw does have other clips that I like better than this one. I'm not really in love with this. This clip could be a, almost a little bit of a hot spot. I could almost tell you the truth. I could see myself taking this clip off and just using the knife as is.
But that's just me. A lot of people like this because look at look how deep. I mean, really, does it get any deeper? You know, that's the deepest you're ever gonna get with a pocket clip. So overall, yes, I do like this knife. For thirty dollars, this is another this is another win for Kershaw. I can see this one selling like hotcakes. I have no problem selling this knife. So there you have it. The Kershaw Intellect, the 1810. Thirty dollars, pretty much everywhere. And I think it's just starting to come out. So, if you're not seeing it in places that you usually buy knives, just keep looking. You know, it's it's just basically coming out. Maybe it's, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it has been out, but to me, um, I'm not really seeing it all over the place. But one last. So there it is for the final look for the final shot. The Kershaw Intellect 1810. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. And I hope you enjoyed the video.